the reason why this gentleman here would be your target. If they're gonna shoot at someone, they're gonna shoot at him because he's a he's a boat driver. So that's the reason why he wears body armor. I'm I'm his babysitter, bodyguard, whatever you want to call it, but or his lookout or. <laughs> Folks, we are here uh, at a water treatment facility on the Rio Grande. Literally, the cartel pretty much owns this stretch of the river. 25% of the women who come across here don't make it. We've heard about the tactics the cartel is using to bring immigrants across the river. My men have been shot at, had one uh, cartel member killed right over here like four months ago, had three altercations Border Patrol had with illegals here in the last four or five weeks. At one point he said, you know, I'm going to get them uniforms to make them distinct from the cartel members. He put a blue shirt and, you know, khakis on his men. And then a week later, cartel members show up wearing the exact same thing. When the Border Patrol comes by to make sure nothing nefarious is going on, the cartel members literally will just go stand up next to his men, work alongside them, Border Patrol leaves, and they leave. So these are smart folks, really crafty with how they are um, smuggling people, drugs, um, across our border. They're infiltrating our group and it just causes a lot of confusion and a lot of havoc in what, in what we do. The president that we have right now, he hasn't made an attempt to come down here and see what's going on. I mean, we're just here on the front line and, uh, we, you know, we, we, we see it firsthand and, you know, eventually it's, it, it's going to affect the whole country. Well, that airboat pulled up beside us and we thought that it was, well, besides them, and they, and they thought, you know what, hey, we always wave to them, not yeah. a problem. Well, all of a sudden, all these guys have, have uh, uh, AK-47s. They, they told the boat driver and the other people, you know what, we're gonna cross a bunch of people, let Border Patrol know, know that they wanna, they wanna get picked up. Yeah. So basically, Border Patrol becomes a taxi for these people because they know they're gonna get caught and released. Yeah. So, and they, they, for whatever reason, these people didn't wanna walk or they didn't wanna do something, so they said, hey, call Border Patrol because they could come and pick them up. If you live on the river or outside of the city or you work outside of the city or on the river, you know what we're going through. 